few more seconds. You know it's even. Oh. What would you not ask? not ask if it's divisible by two. Excellent. Very good, Garrett. Hey, do you have something different? Why would we not ask if it's prime? Because it gets divisible Good. Now, is there one little exception to that? Not one, because remember, one's neither prime nor composite. What did you say, Aiden? Two. Two is what, Aiden? It's the even number. Very good. So I also had that question that as a don't ask to because chances are it's not going to be that one. So I would agree. Good job. Garrett, do you have anything different? Um, hmm. What about numbers like 40? Or 50 or 60. Would those be divisible by 5? And are those even numbers as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Did you have any others? Divisible by 5. Okay. Aiden, anything different? No, only if you have something different. Well, okay, that would be the exact same question. So instead of asking if it's even, what would be the opposite of even? Is it odd? So would you ask if it's odd? No. Jake? Now we're getting 34. Yeah, yeah, but you're thinking and that's really good, okay? So that wouldn't work all the time, but it's good thinking. <coughs> okay, so that's similar to what Paige said. Very good. So we said there'd only be one exception to that with the number two. All right, excellent, everyone. You have the same ones that I did. Go ahead and erase. So now what we're going to do is we know how to describe our numbers. So now we're going to talk about how numbers are alike and different. So think to our graphic organizers. What graphic organizer do we use when we want to compare things? We want to talk about how they're alike or different. Really? Yeah. Mallory? Very good. A Venn diagram. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my best Venn diagram. You guys actually do not need a drum on your whiteboards. We're going to do this together first. There we go. Okay. So we're going to do this together first, and then you're going to be able to play with your partner a little bit. So what I have here are some numbers and some labels. And the labels go along with the ways that we describe the numbers. So Hadassah, I'm going to let you go ahead and pick out a label. Okay, even numbers for one side. And Aiden, go ahead and pick out another label. Okay, multiples of six. Very good. All right, now what we're going to do, first let's make some predictions. Do you think that we will have numbers in all of our categories? Yes. 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 Okay, so give me some examples. Like, Aiden, what number do you think would just be in the even number category? Okay, good. What number would be just in the multiples of six category? Multiples of six. Okay, Jake, go ahead. So, let's think about it. Yes, that's a multiple of six. But is that even? Oh, no. Every number is equal. 
Yes. What did Aiden just say? Exactly. So, is there going to be anything in this space right here? No. So, we're looking at even numbers. We're looking in the middle. And we actually have another space here. Where do we put the numbers that just don't fit? Garrett, where do you think we put them? In where? Not in the middle. The middle is where they're alike. So where would we put the ones that don't fit? Yeah, is that what you're going to say, Mallory? Yes, on the outside of the board. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and pass out some numbers. See how we do. So look at your number, think about it, and then go ahead and place it where you think it belongs. Now go ahead and give you another one. So this is a six, the underline. Oh, okay. Yeah, remember the Venn diagram. Anywhere it shares both of the qualities, it's in the middle. Wow, you guys are quick. Right, that's why we talked about it. So we made a prediction before we started. I have one more to do. All right, great job, everyone. Let's look at some of these numbers. Uh, let's start with Hadassah. Hadassah, why do you think we have all these numbers on the outside? 9, 5, 7, 25, 1, 15, and 3. Oh, none of them are. Or, okay, very good. Okay. Why do we have 40 in this category? Okay, how could we prove that 40 is Okay, so how could we prove that that would make an even number? Well, it doesn't exactly prove that that's even. How do we check to see if a number is even? How do we know? I don't know. How do you know that 22 is even? I know, but how do you know that 22 is even? Or 16? Is it just for a number? No. There's an easier way to look at it. No, it's an even number. Okay, Eden, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so then again, how do we know that that's an even number in the ones place? Yeah, skip counting by two. Something you guys learn way early on. So I like your thinking. You're taking it to the next level. But the very basis of even numbers is your skip counting by two, right? Okay, so Edith, um, what do all of these numbers in the middle have in common? Okay, how could we prove that they're multiples of six? Okay, very good. Count five to six. Oh, all right. Good, Garrett. So, you notice something about some of these numbers. Sixteen and two. Good eye, Garrett. So, Paige, what should we do with these two numbers? Okay, because we know that they are even, but as Garrett pointed out, they're not multiples of six. Yeah, mm -hmm. very good. Because here's a six, and that works, and 36, and that works, so it's easy to get mixed up. Okay? Um, all right, good job. I'm going to save a question, Mallory, for you for next time, okay? So let's do this one last time.